Good morning! It's Lily and Diana here with Garden Love. Today, we want to have a little chat with you guys. First of all, Lily wants an apple from the tree. Surprisingly, there's still some apples in the tree. And I am just so happy to be out here. As you guys know, I haven't been making a lot of videos because I went back to work. And unfortunately, when I leave, there's a little bit of daylight and I have to rush out of here. And when I come back, there's no more daylight. So there's not much videos. There's not much light for me to do the videos. So I'm pretty bummed about that. I even, I've even thought about coming during lunch to come and do a video here and there. And I tried it. I came. But it didn't leave me much time to get back to work on time <laughs> so i was pretty disappointed but it's okay here we are in the weekend i want to show you guys a few things that i'm very excited about um there my citruses are producing fruit like crazy and i want to show you everything that's going on lily wants me to get an apple for her so let's go ahead and do that first she wants an apple from this tree that surprisingly still has apples although we were harvesting an apple a day every day let's see if i could put this chair here so i can grab it and she spotted this apple over here let's see if i could reach it and there's some more up there but i'm probably gonna have to get my husband to get that one and then there's this oh there's another one over here so just a few for Lily to enjoy while we're doing this video. Okay, we're going to have to get the big ladder for that. So check this out. How big is this navel orange? It is humongous. You will not believe. I already eat it. Go ahead, baby. Clean it. Clean it. Wipe it with your shirt and then you could eat it. You will not believe the small tree this came out of and the surprising thing is that this is not the only orange on the tree and i'm so eager to show you guys that tree but before we go over there i want to show you guys what's going on here in the courtyard go ahead mm, is that tasty yeah is it sweet yeah. can i have a taste i haven't had one in a while and it has a pretty color i like that Mmm. Yeah. Oh, it's very tasty. It's sweet. Very sweet. Mmm. Uh -huh. Wow. Alright, guys. Let me show you guys what's going on in the courtyard. My key lime is loaded with my key limes. We even have some that have dropped, so I'm going to harvest that. And my other key lime also has a lot of ripe key limes and there's another one that dropped so let me go ahead and harvest that one and as you can see my passion fruit is growing as i expected it to and i'm very excited because it's filling up eventually this whole thing will be green and this courtyard will be a lot more exclusive and private which um which is what i was going for this Eureka lemon is growing some. There's a few here and there. Oh, see them back there, back there. Is that one? No, there's one right there. So I'm very, very happy about that. But check this out. I know if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have seen tons of pictures of this tree that definitely outdid itself. It's loaded with fruit. Um, since I've been so busy, I've really been trying to figure out a way to harvest all these citrus, well, at least this Meyer lemon, and figure out a way to save the juice. I know we can freeze it, but I need to figure out a way where I don't, I'm not doing just tiny little cubes. Uh, I need a way that's preserving more like a bigger amount that way I can make a salad dressing when my salad dressings over and I'm not melting tiny little cubes so I'm going to look into that and now when I find the solution I'll let you guys know so that's that and let me show you my blueberries aren't doing anything but they're also not dying they're doing great for the time of the season just notice one tiny little blueberry there <laughs> I'm gonna try that Mm. my blood orange is doing all right not doing much 
this is my eureka lemon that my variegated eureka lemon that i actually earlier and it's doing great now check this out this kefir lime is doing amazing i've never seen them grow this big look at how big that is here's one that fell and i saw another humongous one that back here and what i've been doing with the leaves as you guys know this um kefir lime are used for the leaves uh every time i make rice i take one or two leaves and put it in my rice for the benefits of the leaves and it adds a little bit of flavor which i like and my kids don't seem to mind so every time i make rice i want i go ahead and harvest some of these leaves so if you guys aren't familiar with kefir lime look it up uh, they talk a lot about the benefits of these leaves they're good for you some of them even say that if you are having anxiety or stress you can smell these leaves and it relaxes you Put it right there, Mama. Here is another um, pink uh, Eureka variegated. As you can see, <laughs> there is tons of flowers. Hopefully, we'll get one or two more. You guys know that I harvest one on my last video, and it was super, super tasty. <laughs> I really enjoyed. I can't wait to get more of this tree. I'm gonna repot it in spring, and uh, hopefully, it'll give me some more. Here, Lily. I would eat it. You gonna eat it? Yeah. All right. My apples, as you can see, they're going dormant, and hopefully next year I'll produce some more apples, like it did. Well, guys, here's my courtyard. Let's go ahead and move on. Lily, can you carry this for me? Yeah. Thank you, my love. Yeah. Let's go, <laughs> guys. This is the tree that I'm so proud of. Look at how loaded it is with all this fruit. I still haven't harvested the fruit as you know. I'm waiting to figure out what to do with all of the fruit and <clears throat> I just been harvesting the fruit that's been dropping which means that they're ripe ready to be used and my pink guava it's doing amazing throughout the winter and there's still some fruit however I don't think it's going to uh, ripen now one thing that lily is so 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 excited about is the kumquat she noticed these one night when we were coming home from shopping and she was like there's kumquats i want to pull one and she was eager to taste them but i told her that they weren't uh, quite ripe they're getting there as you can see they're getting orange but there's still some green in them and both of them are doing amazing they're both loaded with fruit as you can see so we're very excited about that but what i really want to show you guys is the humongous humongous uh, orange that are growing in my orange tree so let's walk over here it's quite a little walk but it's okay it's worth it can you hold that baby hold it with two hands i just need to get the gate I did my all right come on my Laura Bay tree is doing amazing. Okay, my mom. Well, what if you could just put it around your neck? Uh, maybe, huh? Yeah. This tree is doing great. My mom harvests leaves from this every time she visits and she cooks with them. So do I. But while we're here, check this humongous avocado tree. As you can see, the leaves are maturing. They're not as tender as they were during summer and spring. And the trunk oh, is getting a lot bigger. And I don't think I'm going to have to put it inside the garage this year. Yes, my love. So let me just show you that. All right, guys. I know this video is getting long, but I feel like I have so much to show you guys, considering that I haven't been able to make any videos. My pomegranate's going dormant. But look at this tree. Okay. Do you guys see the oranges? It's looking amazing and look at it's in a container smaller than a wine barrel the trunk is so thick i've had it for maybe seven years as long as i had the other the other tree the eureka lemon that has tons of fruit and look at these oranges guys this is the first year that it produces and it has tons of oranges 
We have to use the restroom. Okay, we're gonna have to go through the front. Look at that one. Everything's doing great, guys. I'm so excited. Let's see. Look at my real red has, I only left one. It's starting to ripen and it's doing great. My bare lime is doing great as well. I harvest all the fruit off of it, which was loaded. If you guys follow me on Instagrams, you guys would see the pictures on there. It's getting new blooms. And of course, let me show you guys my loquat. Check it out. The leaves are beautiful. They're green. <clears throat> There's tons of blooms. As you can see. Oh my god, guys. I'm so excited. I can't wait to try this fruit. Look at that. I don't know why they're drooping that way. I don't know if that's normal. If you guys have a loquat and that's normal, please let me know so I don't worry. I don't know if it needs water or if I gave it too much water. This apple tree is still thriving in a container. I'm going to have to feed it a lot next spring and hopefully the apples um, come back like they did this year. Now, my vegetable garden. As you can see, I have tons of lettuce that I'm going to be harvesting for a salad. Look at this beauty. So they are doing great. Everything's doing great over here. And once again, guys, let me show you guys my passion fruit oh check this out do you guys remember this it's finally getting ripe and that one fruit that this passion fruit vine gave me and i just noticed that the passion the passion fruit's growing i'm gonna cut it hopefully it gets wider because i do not want it to grow any further than that unless this thing is full so i'm going to be cutting that maybe take the cuttings inside and hopefully they'll uh, root if not it's okay but i don't want it to go any further than that so i'm going to be cutting it right there i might do a separate video for that all right guys just a quick little video of a walk through my garden so you guys can see what's going on um i dog chew this freaking low quad that <laughs> sorry that my um my friend from ivy organic gave me unfortunately he ripped it but i let it be and it is starting to grow again i put this in the ground hoping that maybe it will root and i can have two from one but we'll see it still hasn't died which is a good thing i might take some of these leaves off so it doesn't have to worry about taking care of these leaves which i should have done that but I'm gonna get scissors so it's a clean cut. Anyways, guys, I'll come back and do more individual videos on everything, but I just wanted to give you guys a little walkthrough and show you guys everything I have going on. Everything's doing great. I'm so excited that, believe it or not, spring's almost here because we're at the end of December. Christmas is almost here, New Year's is almost here, and before we know it, spring's here. So I'm gonna start preparing for spring. I got a, a seed magazine, which I'm very excited about, because this year I wanna start early. Unlike last year, you guys know my tomatoes rarely produce. So I'm definitely gonna share that with you guys. All right, guys, well, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I hope that uh, I'll see you guys soon. I'll continue to do some more videos. I feel like there's so many videos that I wanna do that I just haven't had the opportunity opportunity to do them and um oh, i'm probably gonna spend like one full day just doing the videos that i have ideas for but anyways guys i hope you guys have a blessed weekend have a good one don't get too crazy shopping um and just enjoy i have to do a lot of wrapping today and see um wrap the presents and make my christmas tree look full Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Do you want to say bye, Lily? She's playing. Bye. <laughs> bye, guys.